Lucky's got another software update. We gonna get anything new or just bug fixes? Watch the video and find out. Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky the Tesla. Very excited that we have another software update today. We've been getting them about every two weeks or so, about twice a month, and it's always fun to see if we're going to get a new feature or just bug fixes, which are also important. Those bug fixes are very important. But first, as it relates to our channel, if you already love Tesla, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, or if you're just curious about electric vehicles in general, please subscribe to our channel, Tesla Lucky. All of our videos are Tesla related. We post on average one new video per week, and we thank each and every one of our subscribers because clicking uh, to subscribe and clicking the bell for notifications is the best way that you can show support for a small channel like ours. Now, one other thing I want to address here. You might be wondering, where is my cute 12-year-old sidekick, Carly? Why would I start filming a software update video without her here to like sing the uh, Tesla software time? Don't worry, I'm not going to sing for you. Unfortunately, Carly is a little bit sick, and I decided to let her sleep in this morning. And hopefully when she wakes up, the extra sleep will have uh, done her good and she'll be feeling a little bit better than she did yesterday. And normally I wouldn't even think about starting a software update without her. But today's a bit of a unique day because in two and a half hours, we have Tesla mobile service coming to do some diagnostic and some maintenance on Lucky. And I think it's a really good idea to have the software update to the latest version uh, for that visit. It might be something that he would or she would insist on doing, but also some of the issues that we've had have been software related, and I just want to make sure that we get the most out of our Tesla mobile service visit today. So I'm going to go ahead and start the software update while Carly is sleeping. One other thing before we get to the update, I want to give a shout out to my friend Debbie, who just got a Tesla Model 3, beautiful, beautiful blue Model 3, uh, just came into my friend's uh, life and want to say congratulations to Debbie. And in texting with my friend Debbie, I asked her if she had gotten a software update yet, and she asked me a very good question as a new Tesla owner, how would I know? And so I just wanted to, um, for you, Debbie, show you the different ways that you will know if you have a software update. First of all, in the Tesla mobile app, if you have notifications turned on, you will get a notification when there's a new software update. Or if you just open the Tesla app, the main screen uh, will show you when there's a new update available. And also in the touchscreen MCU, in your Tesla, you will see there is a tab uh, to tap on for software. You can see a new update there. Or Carly usually just notices the little clock up in the top right uh, side of the screen and squeals from the back seat, software, software update, Tesla software time. I sure miss having her here in this video. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what 2020.20.17 uh, is going to bring for our older P90D 2016 Tesla Model X. I put the specs up on the screen so you can see uh, Lucky doesn't get every single new feature that's available, but whenever there's a new feature compatible, we get excited about it. So maybe there'll be something new today. There's the clock, Debbie right there and there's the software tab and as you can see it says software update you do have to be connected to your home Wi-Fi I uh, hope you've been able to figure that out let me know if you haven't and then we are going to install now and you oops I uh, see Carly usually does this so uh, she's better at it uh, you tap it three times well, there's something you can do Oh, there we go. There's You can tap it three times above the uh, start button and that will uh, speed up. You don't have to wait the uh, two minutes to start the uh, update. 
get rid of a couple of fingerprints there. Okay, software update starting to 2020.20.17. Let's see, uh, let's see what we get. One other thing for you, Debbie, and any other new Tesla drivers, usually the software updates take about 50 minutes. I don't usually stay in the car. I just start them and leave and come back. Today, I'm actually going to stay in Lucky and watch the screen to see what messages come up on the screen during the update. So if there's anything interesting to show there, I'll include it in the video. I'll also show you right here that you can track the progress of the software update in the app as well. You can see here it shows the percentage complete. Right now it's at 10%. As I said, usually it takes about 50 minutes, so uh, easy way to track it right on your phone. So the screen did change and it says now that it's updating electric control units. Not sure exactly what that means, but sure sounds like a good thing, doesn't it? So I just got a phone call from the Tesla mobile service representative. He's actually going to be here in like 30 minutes, which is oh probably about two hours ahead of schedule. So I'm really glad I started the software update. I told him that I was updating to the 2020.20.17 version, and he thanked me for doing that. He said that that was really good that I was doing this software update before he arrives. So it was the right decision to go ahead with the uh, update this morning. The other thing I want to tell you is that when you sit in the car during the software update, you can't use the air conditioning. I didn't know this. I didn't think about this. Call it a blonde moment if you want. I am now sitting here in the car sweating, looking at the MCU, hoping that the update will uh, go faster. We're at 60% now. It's hot out here. <sighs> All in the name of science and YouTube. We're dedicated here at uh, Test Lucky, let me tell you. All right, the screen in Lucky went dark again, so I'm hoping this means that we're progressing quickly because it's 91 degrees right now. Probably hotter than that in the car. Did I mention how hot it is in the car? I really could use a little dog mode right now. All right, so that screen went dark as well. Looks like Lucky is rebooting. Hopefully something is going to happen soon and maybe we will regain climate control soon. Says, still says updating electric control units. Come on, time to advance. Oh, I love that logo. All right, I don't know what that means, but now it says here, finishing update. Yay, finishing update. And it says, what's new in this update? Minor improvements and bug fixes. So we understand that about the like electrical updates that we saw. Let's see, software version. Um, your car software is up to date, 2020.20.17. Okay, so basically in this video, we show you bug fixes. <laughs> Uh, and minor improvements, but hopefully this has been helpful for potentially some new Tesla owners to see how the process works with the software updates, how to know when they're available, and to know that we don't recommend sitting in your car while you're doing the uh, software updates unless you live in a, co a cooler climate. There's some of the previous updates, the backgammon improvements that really, really did make a big improvement on backgammon. Now, Lucky is, you know, difficult uh, to beat and I'm enjoying the challenge uh, with that. So can you, can you see the sweat? Not a good idea to sit in your car in Florida in the sun to do a software update. That is the biggest takeaway from this video. Uh, I also just want to thank you for watching Test Lucky. I want to say get well soon, Carly. I missed having you in this video. I love you so much, and you're going to be the star of the show in our next software update. Um, can't wait for that.